how to buy physical gold and silver. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. In this video, you will learn how to buy physical gold and silver, but you will receive these tips from a financial expert, from a Swiss asset manager, from a professional who really buys physical gold and silver. Thank you for being with us, Silvan, today. Thank you. Tell us how to buy physical gold and silver. What is the best way to buy? There are many ways to buy physical gold and silver. What, is the, what, is the, what are the ways you recommend? What is the best way to invest in physical gold and silver? Well, physical actually, I would say, means you hold it in the hand, more or less, right? No. So, uh, not paper. Physical means yes. not uh, having uh, gold pa in paper form, which because you have papers and not gold. Physical means having physical gold bars yes, or gold yes. coins. There, there are basically four ways you, you could buy gold and silver. What are the four ways to invest in physical gold and silver? Well, the, the first one is a so-called metal account. Yeah. Uh, metal uh, account, a metal bank account. What's, what, what is a yeah, metal account? Yeah, it's basically like a normal account, but yeah. it's not written US dollar or Swiss franc. It's written um, XAU, which is XAU, which is actually the currency, the, the, the ticker of the gold. Ounce, the ticker of gold, the gold And ticker, then you, yeah. you usually see the ounces and at the, at the end you also see a value. Um, so instead of seeing the US dollar, you see how many ounces of gold and silver you have in this metal account. Yeah. Um, the difference here to, to a safekeeping account or having the, 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 the metal physical in your hand is um, that the, 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 the precious metal lies in the bank name. Meaning yeah. they have somewhere a vault, they, they usually buy those metals, but yeah. it's not in your name. So it's not in your name. So it's just a promise, legally, it's just a promise of the bank to deliver the gold. Correct, yes. And this is a problem when, when the, the bank goes bust, right? When you yeah. have a bankruptcy, then it also falls into the... Into the bankruptcy mass. Yes, exactly. Oh. Like other accounts, like US dollar account um, or similar. I mean, that's, that's, that's a big disadvantage. I mean, that's a big disadvantage. So our advice, don't use metal accounts. If your banker wants to sell you a metal account, don't do that because you have no control over the gold. You just buy a promise from the bank to deliver the gold. Correct, yes. Yeah. Um, the second way is basically you have your own safekeeping account. Um, there you can also... So you have a safe deposit box? Or yeah, it's like it's, it's the same... It's the same thing when you buy stocks or bonds. So uh -huh. you can also book in their gold. Yeah. Um, ounces or even coins, you can do that. And then it's even in your name. So uh -huh. that means it's not on the bank sh uh, sheet anymore. If something It's not on the balance sheet of the bank. Uh, yes. It's out of the balance sheet of the bank. So that means in case of bankruptcy, you can take it out. Correct. This, this right to take out assets of the bankruptcy is the beneficium excusion is called in Latin. So this right uh, was created 2,000 years ago by the Roman Beneficium Excusionis. Yes. You um, can take it out, so it's a good method because you can take out, even if the bank goes bust, take out your assets. You are authorized to take out your assets. And in connection with that, but I would recommend something else because um, you could also buy um, so-called ex exchange traded funds or ETFs. ETF, very famous in internet. Everybody speaking about ETFs. Even Warren Buffett, ETFs, ETFs. Yes. Yeah, ETF have um, some good advantages yeah. and also in precious metals because um, they are relatively cheap. Yeah. And in Switzerland, or I think also in other countries, but I don't. I know those in Switzerland. There are some products that you really buy the gold physical. Yeah. Meaning when you buy a portion of this ETF, of yeah. this fund, it's, it's nothing else than a fund but listed on the stock market. Yeah. Um, when, when you buy this, then they really buy the gold physical and store it here in Zurich in a, in a big vault. Uh -huh. And with those products, you even have the possibilities in a, in a worst case scenario um, to go with the fund um, to the fund producer, to the, to the fund manager, 
and ask for the delivery of the goal. So uh -huh. you can physically have it on, on, on the um, paid out, actually. Uh -huh. So you can go with, with, with the bag, you know, Correct, yeah. the bag, with the bodyguard, you can walk to the bank and, uh, the, and uh, take the gold with you. Okay. Yes. Excellent. From the, fund, um, from the fund administrator, you, you can do that in bars, not uh -huh. in ounces, in bars. Bar. So okay. um, that means it's quite a lot. What kind of bars? What are the most common bars? So the movie bars are the 12.5 kilo bars. Correct. These are the movie those, bars, the yes. James Bond bars. Those bars, the yeah, that, those are the standard bars and those you yeah. can take out with when you buy those funds. So for big quantities, 12.5 kilo bars, but usually for uh, for a normal investor who invests half a million, a million in gold, two million in gold, it's better to have the gold in lower quantities, in smaller bars. For example, one kilo bars or, or even uh, 500 gram bars, one kilo bars. Correct? Or what is your advice? What uh, bars should you, what, uh, what is the advice you are giving to your clients to invest in gold? What I would actually recommend is instead of buying bars, I would buy the CTF because it has many advantages. For example, it's very liquid tradable. It's on the market. You always see bid-offs quotes. So you can see in the internet, you can see at the price. Uh, Correct, yes. And I mean, it doesn't the real time, have... The real-time value. The real yeah, time. yeah. And it doesn't have the disadvantages of a metal account, right? Yeah. So um, I think that's that's kind kind of the best options, You one of the best options you can buy. Gold. ETFs, um, three ETFs. Is yeah, the best. yeah, ETF um, physically um, covered with gold. But only ETFs if it's physically covered. Yes, okay. correct. Yes. This is the big difference. That's synth not synthetical ones. Not synthetical. You have to make sure only by ETF if you are sure that the gold is physically available. Physically backed, yes. Mm. Physically backed, yeah. okay. And how you can make sure that this is physically backed? Well, that's usually written on, on, the, on the fact sheet of the, oh, on the, fact the sheet. promoter, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Correct. Interesting, interesting. And what kind of ETFs, uh, who are the big player in this ETF market? Who is the... Well, there, there are some out there. I mean, uh, CKB has won the Zürcher uh -huh. uh, Bank. The Zürcher Bank. And yeah. there it's also the advantage that is uh, still government owned, right? Uh -huh. So um, I would say that's a pretty safe haven. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 And uh, the last, the last way, the fourth. The fourth way to, to buy precious yeah. metals, well, that would be really by it physical having in, in, in your hands the bars or most likely the coins. So in private vault? Yes, so you buy a maple leaf or Kriegerrand or in Switzerland it's the Freneli or whatever you want to buy it. Whatever you want to buy, this is my fi favorite way to buy physical gold because you want to own gold for asset protection. That means that you should have gold out of your jurisdiction of residence, for example, in Switzerland, which, which is a very good alternative, but you can do it also in Singapore and also in the Cayman Islands, there are other jurisdictions, but Switzerland is without doubt the most, one of the most important jurisdictions for gold. It's the biggest gold market is in Switzerland, worldwide. Mm -hmm. Is this correct? Yes, you agree with me? Yes, That's true. So, to have your private vault in Switzerland is a good idea. So not in your country of residence, but you have a private vault in Switzerland, a vault, not bank, out of the banking system. Maybe you are here out of the bank, you have a private vault. So you go somewhere in a secure place, for example, Degussa, just to make you a name, Degussa, but there are very uh, few of them. There, is, uh, there are also companies in Liechtenstein, in Zurich, in Geneva, offering this private vault service. So for small money, for let's say 1,000 Swiss francs a year, you rent your private vault, you just make a rental agreement and you buy gold from somewhere else, you buy the gold in bars or coins, up to you if you want to buy bars or coins. You take this bar or coins physically and you put in your safety box, in your private vault, out of the banking system. So in case of a crisis, you can come to Switzerland, go to, the, to your safety box, open the safety box and take out your gold. Nobody knows that because this, the quantity of gold who is in the box is, is not 
you don't have to report this asset. It's not a bank account. Bank account you have to report. There is the automatic exchange of information. There are informations between the countries, between the tax authorities. But gold is out of that. This is also a big advantage for confidentiality. And if you want to be even more confidential, more confidential, for example, you're a German resident. In Germany, there is a new law about gold. You are not allowed in Germany to buy gold with cash in excess of 2,000 euro. So there is a new law since October last year, 2019. Since October 2019, it's a new law in Germany because they want to control the citizen. They want to control the authorities, the government. They want to know where the citizens have their money. There is a law in Germany who says you can only buy physical gold in cash until 2,000 euro, not for more. So what you can do, you can open a bank account in Switzerland, fully legally, then you can make a cash withdrawal and then you go in Switzerland to buy gold with cash. You can buy gold with cash in Switzerland because cash is fully still, still legal in Switzerland despite the pressure of the European Union. Cash is still liquid in, in Switzerland, is still legal in Switzerland. Owning cash is legal. You take cash and you buy gold cash. In. You, can buy, you can go and buy gold with cash and put this gold in the in the in your private vault and this is really nobody knows that you have this gold this is the safest way because it's not traceable it's not to the bank account because in case there is an international request for international legal assistance the authorities can find out with which bank account you have, you you have acquired you you have uh, made the, you made the acquisition of gold that can it's traceable but if you do it cash cash is not traceable so basically you you interrupt by cash you interrupt the paper trail you interrupt the paper trail and you buy gold anonymously legally but anonymously and you put your gold in your private walls and this is real asset protection so in case whatever happened whatever investigation you are involved in after the world if you are criminal or not criminal or whatever are the accusations you have always the access to that goal because nobody knows that you have the gold there so for me this is the best way to own gold physical gold with private world so now what is your recommendation about what is better, buying bars or buying, buying uh, coins? Or what kinds of coins to buy and what kinds of bars to buy? Uh, well, I think coins are, are better, you can better handle it, right? Yeah. But when you want to buy big quantities, then bars might, might be better. But I would prefer coins and when you really want to hold it physical, as you said, yeah. you also should to, to take into consideration that you probably have to endure it. I mean, the GUSA will probably do that for you. They yeah. have an insurance. They but have an insurance, right? Probably not every vault. So yeah. that's something important. I mean, the vault can also be robbed, right? Yeah, yeah, can be robbed. But for example, the GUSA, the GUSA is owned by Baron von Fink. He's the owner of the company, the GUSA. Baron von Fink is a German tax refugee. He came to Switzerland uh, many years ago to avoid the donation tax in Germany, which is very high, the donation tax. That's why he came to Switzerland and he bought the Gusa. He bought all the street, all the real estate around the Gusa is his property. So this real estate is very secure. He has all measures. He put, okay. uh, you know this, that he made in the real estate, all the measures, you know, security no, measures. He's, that, yeah. he's his own real estate. So the, 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 the assets are very, very, very secure. That. Then there are there is another gold gold storage facility in the mountains in the Swiss Alps. There is a company called Swiss Fort Knox. This company, Swiss Fort Knox, has acquired the old bankers from the Second World War, from the Swiss government. So 70 or 80 year old bankers with cannons and, uh, you know, because Switzerland, uh, in the Second World War, Switzerland built uh, the defense, the defense, uh, defense, line, yeah. defense line in the mountains. So the, the mountains, the Alps, Alps, the Swiss Alps are full of bunkers. But these bankers are 80 years old, you know, and these companies, Swiss Fort Knox, they bought these bankers from the Swiss government and they uh, made storage, they created storage facilities for gold. 
And one of these bunkers, one of these storage facilities is near to a private airport. And the Russians, they go crazy to buy gold there. But there you can only buy gold, I think, from 10 minutes and above. So only for okay. big quantities. So the Russians, they are arriving with their private jet there. They land in the, in the Alps, in the Swiss Alps. They go out of the airplane. They go in, inside the vault. Then the, the gold bars are, they test the gold bars with, with radiation, with machines, you know, they make checks of this gold, if the purity, if it's pure. And then the gold is, is stored in this Swiss Fort Knox and then the storage facilities is against uh, atomic, atomic uh, bombing and, and whatever, all the crazy things, so very, very sure. And now not only gold storage is there, but also the IT industry is, um, is, has a storage there for uh, for um, uh, informatic for uh, informatic information to to deposit data as data storage uh, facility. Give us a summary on the four best way to invest in physical gold or in physical silver. Give us a short summary of the four best ways. Oh, well, the, the, you mean the four ways? The four ways, exactly. The that four uh, ways to Okay, invest. well, that, that, uh, I said the first one is the metal account, we yeah. which we will not recommend or would recommend because of the disadvantage of having the, the, the gold or the, the value of the gold on the bank balance sheet. Yeah, we don't recommend that because you own, it's only a promise of the bank to give you back the gold. Number two. The second one is you have it in your own safekeeping account. That that that's okay. But yeah. um, better is to 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 buy the the gold ETF, which yeah. is physically backed by by the provider, and you even can take it out when you when you want. But you have to make sure that you can take out your physical gold. You have to make sure. Not, yeah, not, and uh, the most important thing is yeah. that it's physically backed. Okay, right? so must then, be physically backed. Yes, and then 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 the third thing is. Um, um, the fourth thing is uh, you have it um, physical in your hands yeah. and you put it into a vault. Private vault. This is my favorite way to hold physical gold, yes. And then it's probably more, I don't know, but it's probably better to, to have it as a coin, as, 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 coins, Krieger, and, yeah. as Krieger and or, or Maple Leaf, or it doesn't really matter which one, yeah. um, but it's easy to, easier to handle than, than bars. Okay. And then as I said, it's also important that, that it's insured. And insured. But okay. the goods are for sure, they will... They, they offer an insurance, yeah, yeah. I know that. And they have very, very secure uh, infrastructure. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much, you. Simon, uh, for your very interesting information. Insider information just like this cannot be found on the internet, not in libraries and not in universities. If you like information just like this, if you like such insider information, please show it to us. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please make sure to not miss our future videos. Therefore, I invite you to press the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. Thank you for your time. See you in the next video.